But I want to talk about a little bit of theory first, because that's important to understand why you why this chip was selected, why this chip does what it does. The first thing is that there's something called the charging profile. And a charging profile is the way you take a depleted battery back up to full charge. And this is, and it's different based on the chemistry of the battery. So a nickel cadmium, the old NICAD batteries that were rechargeable in the 70s, 80s, and early 90s, those have their own charging profile. Lithium phosphate batteries have their own charging profile. Lithium polymer batteries, which is what this is, those have their own charging profile. And it's based on uh, the, the amount of charge it can take at once, how hot the battery is allowed to get, what the, the mean operating uh, voltage of the battery is, what, the, what the, the, the low voltage state of the battery is allowed to be, what the, what the max voltage of the battery is allowed to be. All of these things are based on the battery's chemistry. And that dictates which charging profile you wind up using. So for a lithium polymer battery, which is the battery that we use for the majority of the stuff that we plug into the wall on a daily basis and then carry with us, that charging profile runs from the, the, the depleted voltage, which is safely in the 3.3 .3 to 3.2 volt range up to the maximum voltage, which is in the 4.2 volt range. And that can vary depending on the manufacturer and a little bit on the chemistry.